Well, it looks like Humpty for Humpty Dumpty got a fucking got paid good. Shit. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like tossing it. Is some motherfucker walking around in my fucking store with a picket sign? No, for real. Holy shit, is that fucking... Oh my god, that vending machine actually fucking... Did that cat get out of that room? Oh god. If she got out of that room, I'm gonna be a little fucking uh, agitated. Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh god, that's even more expensive than the other one. We're gonna try to fucking get these can try to get all this shit up first before I do anything else. I'm not gonna I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna look at that like once an episode so you guys understand how much more time is going on. So it'll be a time filter so you guys can see how fucking often I'm actually playing this game. Because I'm kind of addicted to it. Dude, I just got done watching Unfinished Business. I just got done watching Unfinished Business again. Just so I don't put my hand over the fucking speaker. Where you guys can actually fucking hear me. So, um... As I said, I was watching uh, Unfinished Business again today. Uh, yeah, fucking again. I fucking love that shit, that movie. It's funnier than fuck. And I'm, as I said, I'm stoned. I said in the last video, I'm stoned right now. This is episode seven, and... Is it seven or am I still timing? No, this is episode seven. I'm two minutes and... I'm baked. I'm baked. I'm baked as a potato, dude. But I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, stoned with a fucking... Looking at... The the uh the credits. The movie's paused right now, and I've got the credits on, pause, and I'm so stoned it looks like they're fucking rolling past. It's fucking with me a little bit. <sighs> of course, when this bathroom gets big enough, when this fucking uh mall gets big enough, I'm probably going to have a bathroom on both sides of the mall upstairs and downstairs. After this video, I'm going to have to go check to see if Gandy's still in the room or not, because if she's not in that room, I'm going to be a little pissed. Because I can't sleep with her out there. Come on, we are so close to fever. We want the burger shop. There's only two stores upstairs. Are you kidding me? Fever time. Nice diamond. What you doing? Touching me, wobbly knocker. Me, wobbly knocker. Another word that I I I, I hope I invented this. I honestly hope I invented this word. But vindershmugul, vindershmugul, 
basically I was like I was we were playing Minecraft one day and I was remembered of the um of the episode of Family Guy where Brian was screwing that you know that white chick who was a fucking atheist just like him and well he was trying he, he he was dating her and Cleveland was ended up screwing her. And they were in the fucking, they were in the fucking Swedish bakery with the fucking, uh, Vanderpluer guy. <laughs> Would you like to try a piece of me hot pea? <laughs> oh no, you've got me hot pea all over your shirt. Go wheel shit up in the waiter closet. And when I heard waiter closet for like weeks, I was trying to figure, I was trying to, for weeks, I was trying to remember how he said it. Waiter closet. Well, how it ended up coming out was Vindrishmugo. And I was just building this big-ass brick tower on fucking Minecraft when it happened. With, I was like, a, it was a big-ass fucking brick tower with, uh, with glass, uh, with the glass, with the glass, uh, surrounding the fucking innards. So it was like a big old lookout. And I said Vindrishmugo, and like, I, I was with, I was with, 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 uh, with a friend of mine. And it was, you know, I was actually with Spectre at the time. And it was funny because, um, like she kept laughing. She could not stop laughing every time I said it for like two weeks, just every time, two weeks, fiendish Google. And she just start dying. It's kind of like the time she would, it's kind of like the time we, me and her were stoned and we were in the, uh, we were in the bedroom. We we're just chilling out and I was playing. I was playing uh, Super Mario Sunshine on an emulator, and, you know, multitasking between that and making vines in between levels, and she got really stoned, and I got really stoned, so, you know, we, we, we were fucked out of our heads, you know, it was great, and I ended up saying, and this is why we can't have a guinea pig, <laughs> And that was the vine, you know, and the vine was just, this is why we can't have a guinea pig. And she just starts losing her shit. Oh, God. You know, the way I see it, every relationship, you got to look at the good. Even if there was mostly bad, you know, you got to look at the good. And I'm not saying that the relationship her and I had was mostly bad. You know, it was, it was a pretty even amount. But when the bad stuff did happen, it was bad, bad. Like, it wasn't a joke. So. Holy shit balls! It would be more smarter to upgrade. Um, what? 8 by 7. Five by five. Oh God. So either way, the upgrade is going to take an amazing amount of fucking money, but oh God, it's worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to max out the downstairs first. And then after that, I'm going to fucking max out the upstairs. That seems like the smartest choice right here. Holy shit. Invest in pants. 10 mil. 10 grand. Are you kidding me? Fuck no. I can't invest in pants right now. That is the most expensive pair of pants I have ever fucking invested in. Oh my god. No wonder this mall is so goddamn expensive. What is Walmart our parent company or something? Shots fired. You know what?
You know what? I'm actually going to sell that then. Because I don't really want to use it right now. And I was really only getting it for the fucking... You know. The gem. There, bitch. So after next week, we're all fucking cut this episode. I remember there was one time uh, when I was, I was living with my mother at the time. And it was like a week straight where I was in just excruciating fucking pain. Like, I felt like somebody was taking a, a hacksaw, you know one of those fucking little ones you plug in the wall that'll cut like bagels and shit or no, the, the little electric ham cutters. You know what I'm talking about. Take like one of those. Somebody had one of those. And like, they were just, just jamming that fucker in my stomach. That's what it felt like for like a week and a half. And I couldn't fucking, I, I couldn't stand up. Like I had to legitimately stay bent over while, holding still walking was you know was easier to do but it still hurt like hell and uh i'm gonna finish talking about this real fast got time and what ended up happening was i ended up i was in a i was in a place called uh shop and save uh it was in fucking it was in des moines and in the shop and save, I was like squatting down, holding my stomach, kind of bent over, like my ass in the air. And, and my mom, she's just, my birth mother is just like, you know, she's like, quit doing that. You look like you're about ready to take a dick in the ass. And I, I'm just, in the back of my head, I'm sitting there going, I wish I was taking a dick in my ass. This shit fucking hurts. <laughs> this is one of those dick in the ass moments, you know, the ones where you're just like, oh God, this pain is so bad. I'd rather take a dick right now. <laughs> A big fat one, the size of a fucking of a size of a soda can, just as thick as a soda can and twice as long, and just as twice as long. <coughs> it actually doesn't feel that bad. I'm not going into details to why, but just that comment itself should, you know, suffices to why. Well, anyways, for you know, this went on for about this went on for about a week and a half, maybe two max. It was only a week in when, you know, that, that situation happened. And so I walked, I walked to uh, downtown Des Moines. I lived on the uh, North side at the time. And it was funny because when I went downtown, I got to the library, like I was sweating fucking bullets, dude. It was, it was bad. And a friend of mine, you know, he ta tapped me right in the fucking stomach. He, he didn't even hit me. He tapped me. Like, it wasn't even... It, there was no mal there was no maliciousness behind it. It was just a friendly, hey, what's up, a-hole kind of thing going on, you know? And... I fucking... Like, I went down like a sack of bricks, dude. Like, that one little tap knocked me on. Just, it, 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 I, just the pain was so bad, I couldn't stand anymore. And they had to call the ambulance, come to find out I couldn't shit. I was constipated for too long, apparently. Yeah. yeah, all that back pain because I couldn't poop. Two weeks later, it ended up breaking my fucking ankle and walked home with a broken ankle. I had no idea. Anyways, this is uh, this is Ski signing out. I hope you guys have a great night. Don't drink and drive.